Hi friends! Today we will learn about the compound microscope. So let's start. We have already learned what is a simple microscope and why we use it. Now we will learn about the more advanced microscope, which is called the compound microscope. A compound microscope consists of two convex lenses of short focal lengths and produces a highly magnified image of a tiny object. The compound microscope can magnify an image of a tiny object up to 1,000 times. Now before we learn more about the compound microscope, let's first learn the differences between a simple and complex microscope. Simple microscope. It is also called a magnifying glass. Compound microscope. It consists of two convex lenses of short focal lengths, which highly magnifies images of small objects. Simple microscope is just a convex lens of small focal length, which magnifies images of small objects. Compound microscope consists of two focal lenses of short length. Maximum magnifying power of a simple microscope is 10. Whereas the maximum magnifying power of a compound microscope is 1000. Let's first learn what is magnification? What is the field of view? Before learning the parts of the compound microscope. Magnification. This refers to how much an object is enlarged while viewing it. In all types of microscopes, magnification is achieved through lenses. The number of times the image of an object is enlarged is expressed as a numeric value. For example, magnification 2 means the image of the object will be enlarged twice its original size. Similarly, magnification 4 means the image of the object will be enlarged four times its original size. Magnification 10 means the image of the object will be enlarged 10 times its original size. And we have already learned the maximum magnifying power of a simple microscope is 10. The maximum magnifying power of a compound microscope is 1000. Now let's learn about the field of view. It is the open observable area person can see through his or her eyes, or via an optical device. It covers an area rather than focusing on a point. And the diameter of the field of view is expressed by the field of view number, which is in millimeters. And it's often called as the field number. Now we know what is magnification and what the field of view is. Now we will be learning more about the compound microscope. The compound microscope is an important scientific instrument of any science lab. It is used for the study of the structural details of tiny specimens of cells, tissues, or any microorganisms. Now we will learn the parts of the compound microscope. Let's first learn the non-optical components of the compound microscope. First one is the base or foot. It is U-shaped, heavy structure that supports the whole microscope. Next one is the pillar. This is the vertical support that connects the base and the arm of the microscope. The arm. It is also called the limb of the microscope. It is a curved handle for holding the microscope. Inclination joint. This part is used for tilting the microscope. The stage. This is the same as it is in the simple microscope. It is a firm metallic platform with a hole in the center. Specimen are kept on the stage. And then the specimen gets light from below this hole. The stage has clips on the side for holding the sample. The body tube. The body tube has two parts, the head and nose. This part is used for holding 
the ocular lens. The nose. This part is used for holding three to four objective lenses. It is also called the nose piece of the microscope. The body tube has the internal pathway for the passage of light. Draw tube. It is present at the upper end of the body tube and holds the ocular lens. Rack and pinion. This is a mechanism attached to the stage or body tube in order to focus the object. That is to a, that is to adjust the distance of that is to adjust the distance between the lens and the specimen on the stage. Adjustment screws. There are two types of adjustment screws: larger and finer. Larger screws are used for coarse adjustments that is moving the body tube or the stage for bigger distances. Finer screws are used for finer adjustments, as in moving the body tube or the stage a very short distance. Coarse adjustment is used to bring the objective lens at the right distance from the object so that its image is formed at the ocular end, while fine adjustment is for obtaining the sharper image at the ocular end. Automatic stop. This is a small screw below the rack and pinion that controls the sliding of the body tube. So these are the non-optical parts of the compound microscope. Now let's learn the optical components of the compound microscope. The diaphragm. This part is located below the stage and regulates the amount of light falling on the object on the stage. Remember. Light falls on the object from below the stage to the hole present in the center of the stage. The object lies directly on the hole present in the stage. Condenser. This part is also attached to the diaphragm and it is used to focus the light on the object on the stage. Reflector or mirror. This part is present above the base and below the stage. It has two sides. One side is a plane mirror and the other side is a concave mirror. The plane mirror is used in the case of strong light and the concave mirror is used in the case of weak light. Its role is to direct the light onto the object through the hole. It uses both the condenser and the diaphragm for this purpose. The objective lens. These lenses are compound lenses that form real inverted images of the object inside the body tube. There are three types of objective lenses, and all of them are attached to the nose piece of the microscope. Ocular lens or eyepiece. This is the topmost lens through which the magnified image is seen. It can have a power of 5 or 20, that is a magnification of 5 to 20. A microscope can have one or two ocular lenses. The microscope that has two ocular lenses is called a binocular, and both eyes are used to see the magnified image. So we have learned the basics about the parts of the compound microscope. Now we will learn the working principle and working on the compound microscope in our next section.